All right, we're here with Jimmy Gownley, creator of world famous Amelia Rules. And we're ready for question number one. I'm ready. Which is, how did you get started working in comics? I, I started when I was just a teenager. Um, <laughs> I was 15 years old, and I had an idea to self-publish a comic book because I had seen Cerebus and ElfQuest and comics like that, which were self-published in the 80s. And I tried to make my own science fiction comic. I wanted to somehow combine Star Wars with The Lord of the Rings and have it happen like after a nuclear war. And then my friend Tony told me that was really geeky and that I should write a comic book about people like us. So I did that, and I, I wrote a comic book called Shades of Grey, and I published it out of my high school locker, or sold it out of my high school locker when I was just uh, 15 years old. And I ended up doing that until it became a nationally distributed comic book. So that's how I got started. There you go. Question number two. Did you read comics when you were a kid, and who were your, some of your influences when you were a child? Oh yeah, I, I loved comics when I was a kid. I was sort of limited, I lived in a very small town in Pennsylvania called Gerardville. I was sort of limited to what was ever um, you know, on the stand there in, in Gerardville, so I liked, at the time, things like um, New Teen Titans was very big, and Alan Moore's Swamp Thing would have been another big one. And whatever this, oh, and the Marvel Tales book, which was Spider Man, but it was reprinting the old uh, Stan Lee, Steve Ditko stuff, which I loved, loved, loved. I didn't even realize it was a reprint. And then when I was a little older and got to go to a comic shop, then it would have been all the independent stuff like Love and Rockets, Cerebus, Elf Quest, Zod, things like that. And going back even before all of that, uh, you know, my primary influence probably in life is, is Peanuts by Charles Schultz, which is how I learned how to read from my mom reading those old strips to me. Perfect. All right. Question number three, what are you currently working on? I am currently working on volume seven of Amelia Rules, which doesn't even have a title yet. Uh, number six is True Things Adults Don't Want Kids to Know, which is coming out in October. And yeah, I just started working on volume seven, which I'm pretty excited about because I, uh, I think it's looking good so far. Early stages though, so there's plenty of time for me to mess it up. All right. <laughs> Question number four. What graphic novel or comics titles have you read in the last year that you think are fantastic for kids? Uh, the one I just read, um, oh, actually, I just wrote an introduction for, actually, was, uh, it's called Buzz Boy Sidekicks Rule, which I think is really, really funny. And uh, John Gallagher, I've known for a long time, and I don't think his book gets as much attention because it's superheroes. But it's not regular superheroes. It's funny. And as someone who has written at least attempted to write funny comics in the past. I admire anyone who can actually write a comic that is genuinely, genuinely funny, not just silly. And uh, this is that. And from what I've seen, kids seem to really like it, so that would be my favorite. All right, what about for teens? For teens? Okay, let me think. Oh, you know what? Well, this isn't new, but I've just read it. But I thought Chiggers by Hope Larson was really good. And I'm looking forward to reading her new one, although I haven't read it yet. And I guess also teens could read Smile. Of by, course. Uh, so I would pick that one. All right. Yeah. So and, and also and teens can listen to the Brian Wilson album Smile, which is also wonderful. It's also wonderful. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So question five. If you were stuck on a desert island with only one book, graphic novel or prose, yeah. What would it be? Oh, Ulysses. Because Ulysses somehow combines every other book. And I've read it two and a half times now, and I think I only understand 5% of it. So I think I could spend the rest of my life, you know, reading, reading Ulysses. All right. And the last question is, what advice do you have for young comic creators? I would say if you have the desire to create something, now is the ideal time to do it. Uh, even if you're eight years old, you can get your parents to get you a little blog and a little website, and for virtually no cost at all, you can reach an audience of thousands, potentially millions of people. Um, so I would say, you know, don't let anything stop you from doing the finished work that you sort of want to do, and follow whatever the passion it is for the story you want to tell, because if you're passionate about it and you get to the point that uh, you're professional in your presentation of it, you'll find an audience. Great. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Oh, it was my pleasure.